Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to the Healthy Families MIS video training series. During this video, we will look at the technical procedure of terminations and reinstatements of home visitors in the MIS. This is a test site, so all the data you will see going forward is fake. To begin, we will go to the worker record form. This is located under settings, only to those with MIS supervisor permissions. If you need guidance on how to enter the worker record, please see the training called Exploring the Worker Record. This is located on our blog and on the MIS under Help and Docs. Select the worker you wish to term by clicking the Edit button. To term the worker, click on the Termination tab. Enter the date of Violet's last workday and enter a reason for her exit. I am marking disability because poor Violet broke her ankle while ice skating on a frozen pond. So she will be out for three weeks while healing. Remember, if a staff person will be out of the office for an extended leave of three weeks or longer, a term date should be entered to avoid missed supervisions, home visits, and observations. Once the date and the reason are entered, click Submit. If the staff person is assigned to active cases, this validation message will appear. So we will have to reassign Violet's cases before we can term the worker record. The batch case assignment is located under settings and again is only accessible to those MIS users with supervisor permissions. Click on the batch case reassignment link under the data entry column to open the form. The drop-down shows a list of all the active home visitors in your program. Choose the home visitor whose cases need to be reassigned and a list of all their open cases will appear. There are a couple ways to reassign the cases. You can select the Assign All button to reassign all of Violet's cases to one home visitor, or you can reassign the cases to several workers depending on case weight and staffing needs. The date the cases will be reassigned needs to be the day of termination or prior to the date of termination. When all the cases have been reassigned, click the Reassign Cases button on the lower left side of the page. The MIS will ask once more if you want to reassign these cases. This is a good opportunity to double check the selections before clicking Yes. Once you have reassigned the cases, return to Violet's worker record to continue with the termination. As stated above, the term date should be the last day worked. When this date is entered, this statement will appear at the top. Basically, this means if the username has been connected to the worker record, the MIS access for that user will be automatically termed once the termination has been submitted. Once the changes to Violet's worker record have been submitted, this message will appear at the top of the list of workers. Also, we can see that Violet's record now shows a term date. So let's skip ahead three weeks, and now Violet's ankle has been healed. So let's reinstate her record. Click the Edit button to open the record, and click the Termination tab. Clicking the Reinstate button will automatically bring up this pop-up, asking if you wish to keep a record of this leave. Keeping a record of the leave means that for the time Violet was absent, no supervisions, trainings, or observations due during this time period will be required. If you do not keep the record of leave, then on the contrary, all of these things will show as missed on the coordinating reports. In most cases, the leave will be recorded to avoid any missed forms or work that could not be completed because of the absence. I am clicking Yes, which brings up another pop-up box. This date entered is very important. Enter the last day prior to the start of Violet's employment reinstatement. This will allow assignment of cases on the day of Violet's return. 
The message in the blue box is a good reminder of this, so be sure to read it before entering the reinstatement date. Once the reinstate date is submitted, the leave time frame is now recorded in the MIS. We can see this if we look again at the termination tab. So that is how to term and reinstate a worker record in the MIS. We hope this demonstration has been helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It will be posted on our blog and the MIS along with other training videos. We hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.